Yes, Minister Hill, once again, part three of my message, and I was talking about going to church does not make you righteous, or uh, putting your name on the roll, or signing up for membership does not make you righteous. Huh? And I left off, and I was speaking, and I was saying that uh, when you go to church and you want to be saved and live right, you can't put your eyes on other people in the church because some of everybody is in the church and I was saying how I saw the pimp and the prostitute in the church dressed in their church apparel you know uh, uh, the church is the place to come to be healed and to set free so you'll see everybody in the church and I was also talking about how you have these men in the church and they stand by waiting for the sisters to start to, to start to shouting. And most of these women are heavy and, and fully blossom up here, you know. And they'll grab these women from behind and the women jumping up and down and he got a bear hug on her from behind trying to hold her down, which is a, supposed to be another woman's job while the ushers female ushers in the job, uh, in the church she should be doing that but no he got his hand all around the sister and she's jumping up and down and flopping and he's jumping up and down both of them jumping up and down and he's trying to hold her in the house of God huh and I was saying that brother he don't have to go to no strip club and get no lap dance. He's getting it right there in the house of God, in the house of, of the Lord and the preacher sitting there full of lust and horny and watching the free show. Instead of him telling that man to sit down and let the women house the women, he's watching the free show. So everything is in the church. Hmm? So you can't go there and use that for excuse for not going to church. Yep. Yeah. And I saw the white beater in the church. He was up raising his hands in the house of the Lord. So I sat in the congregation and I smelled cigarettes. I smelled alcohol. And people were all around me with all kind of problems in the church. Yeah. But you have to do as I did when I went to church. I looked up to my Redeemer because it was He, Jesus, that saved me and not those people that was around me. But it was my Redeemer that saved me. But those people was in the right place to be delivered. But oftentimes, churches want people to come up to join the church rather to come up to be set free. See, you can't place the, the cart before the horse. You got to come up and be delivered and set free before you join a church. You're putting the cart before the horse because each member of a church of the family of God should be made whole first. Everybody that followed Jesus, Jesus made sure they were made whole first. Then they came into the sheep fold, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So Jesus didn't have uh, a lot of people around him that was in the fornication of drinking alcohol. But Peter did cuss and and, and deny but I think he only did it one time so you have to be made whole first before you can be considered as a Christian the word Christian means to be Christ like do you follow me a lot of people will miss God because they have their eyes on people in the church what will people see if they looked over and saw you in the church would they be judgmental the way people live Monday
Monday through Saturday should spill over into Sunday or whenever your worship day is. Your neighbors are the true witness concerning your life. Your neighbors are watching you. Once you tell them you're a Christian, they're watching you anyway. But when you tell them that you're a Christian, you're a target. Or even on your job, your co-workers can testify concerning you. Your family knows you best. That's why a lot of times uh, your family don't want to hear you preach or talk about God because they knew the devilment that you used to be in. And you just they just don't think you're capable of changing. So therefore they don't want to hear your sermon. But some do. Are you the same person on Sunday that's sitting up in the church appearing to be righteous? Are you that same person Monday through Saturday? Yeah, the church should remain within you when you leave those four walls. What do you do Monday through Saturday? Do you cuss? Do you fight? Do you argue? Are you jealous? Do you smoke? Do you drink? Do you party? Well, if you attend church and you are doing these things, your church going is in vain. Yes, it is. Meaning, if you want to go to the place where Christians go after they die, then you first must seek to be set free from all of the above, if you know what I mean. And now, I'm not sitting here trying to be self-righteous, but I do know that the road to hell is paved with good intentions. There is going to be a whole lot of churchgoers in hell because church attendance does not give you the new birth. As Nicodemus was told, you must be born again. Huh? You once said, I used to be saved. Well, my friend, I'm trying to tell you now, if you used to be saved, you need to be born again. Oh, yeah. One guy told me, he said, uh, Minister Hill, I don't believe in hell. I said, brother, hell is for unbelievers. Uh-huh. When you go to church to assemble as believers and to worship God, that's the purpose of going to church, to assemble yourself with other believers and to worship the Lord, not to put your eye on people because you'll miss out looking at people and listening to people in the church. It's a personal relationship with God, you know. Sinners that know that they are sinners should assemble in the church to be born again. That should be your purpose of going to church to get right not just to be a church goer, a bench warmer. The church must have a altar, and they must have an altar call. And that's where the Lord will meet you and your life will be changed at the altar. Not coming up front sitting on a bench, a mourner's bench, or in a folding chair, and signing up for membership. That does not do anything for your soul salvation. The only thing that I mean is that you was a member of Mount Pleasant and you died and went to hell. That's what that means. Your name is on, on the church road but when you died you went to hell because your soul wasn't changed. Yeah. So <clears throat> sitting in a chair and signing up for membership does not change your wicked and hateful ways. And I'm sitting here, like I said before, not being self-righteous, but preaching the good news. Because I heard it, and it changed me. So now we're going to part four of my message. Stay tuned.